similar kind of stuff. Standard right? as well. Yeah, let's say I get this angle. This angle's really nice. But from here, what you're probably gonna do, if I get this, it's great. Okay, but what you're probably gonna do is you're gonna try to turn in towards me and put your butt on the ground, right? And start to hip escape away, okay? Now I actually have a lot of distance to cover, cover. okay? I'm gonna keep these grips. Anytime I can control the far side of your body, it's better, especially from the, from the back side, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, for me personally, I don't like to do the traditional like roll where you just roll like this, okay? I find it's like too much space, okay? Personally, I prefer to try to go to mount first. So I actually come over my forehead, here, and my knee will go across the, the, uh, the center line here. So like my knee will try to go to your forehead. Now, the reaction usually, as you try to do this, is they'll put their, their back on, on the mat and they'll try to like bring their knees, their hips up, to, hips up and try to like free their knee, get their knee so free. Pull it out like that? And stuff like this, yeah. Okay. So there's two options, right? If you keep heavy with your legs, like you keep your legs heavy on the ground, then I'm gonna start keeping my left hook tight and start trying to come up to mount. Majority of the time, they don't let this happen, okay? So majority of the time, as you start to come up, they lift their hips. Yes, they make the hips light. So from here, you keep rolling through over your forehead. And as I come to the other side, I control the, uh, I switch my grip from the, from the left side of, from the drawstring here, to the other side of your body, to the other side of your hip. My feet go to the mat, and now I'm starting to use my hands to climb. I wanna put my feet onto the mat next to your face. If I try to stop down too far out here, I'm gonna lose your knee, and it's not gonna be tight. So I wanna make sure that I put my feet, a good test to make sure you're doing this right, you should be able to put both your feet flat on the mat next to his head, next to their head. Here, she's head, head, okay, here. And then from here, you're climbing. Now I'm using my arms, okay? So I'm gonna switch from the, the pant leg here to the side of the drawstring, okay? And then my right hand's gonna go towards the back of the collar, okay? And now, again, depending on what you're doing with your hips, if you're trying to move your hips in towards me, then I'm gonna have to do a twist hook first, okay? It's pretty simple, you just stomp down, stomp down, bring your left foot to the ankle or your hook behind the ankle, then make the twist hook. And then from here, I'm just going to extend. Again, using my arms to pull now. Pull, 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 pull. Get the seatbelt and then put the second hook in. And stay super tight there. Got it. All right, so love all the details there. Uh, a lot of things we can work on one by one, but let's see it all the way through. Yeah.